welcome to Strength Reversed. It's Amy. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm recording outside just to switch things up. <laughs> and I don't know if I had a new intro at the beginning of this video or not. It depends on whether or not I can figure out how to attach it in this software. But um, I've been a little bit um, running up against some YouTube TarotTuber writer's block. And I'm feeling <laughs> very uninspired when it comes to my channel. And so I wanted to do something that was just fun and different. And that's what I did. <laughs> and it sucked up a lot of time for, you know, five seconds. Usually I don't like intros because I like to get right to the content. But I just wanted to mess around and try something new. So um, I'll catch you up on why I haven't been posting for a while. And... I'm sure everyone's been in a similar situation, but I posted a video a while back about my tower summer and my star fall. So this summer was a, a very, it was a tower experience. It was not fun. It sucked big time. <laughs> and then luckily this fall, you know, we moved on to the next card and things um, got better and I recovered and I'm hoping these people aren't going to come down here. But um, I feel like now as the year is ending and people are getting into that planning for the next year mode, I'm starting to have a judgment new year or judgment end of the year. A lot of times for me, the end of the year is almost more productive and significant than when the year finally turns because the end of the year is when I do all my reflecting and planning and get a little more motivated hopefully but this judgment card has been coming up for me where after that tower I'm in a place now where I had a birthday in November it was a big birthday and um, I had a big party, which is what I wanted, so I was very happy with that. And I made a video with the birthday balloons and, you know, including the big number balloons. <laughs> and I did a birthday video, a little reading, and I decided not to post it because it felt personal and I wanted to keep it just for me. But then I I've just haven't been feeling very inspired to post much of anything on my channel. I've been overthinking it and spinning my wheels and I haven't even really felt inspired to watch a whole lot of videos. And I'm really going through this judgment cycle of, you know, choice. Choice based on um, my experience and what I wanna do differently moving forward. And you know, I'm just, my YouTube channel is something that I wanted to start for practice, to push myself a little bit, to challenge myself, and it has been that. And I have really enjoyed connecting with other people, which is what I have missed. <laughs> and it, when I get to the point where I feel like just scrapping the whole damn channel, I go, yeah, but I would miss all these people that I've connected with. Um, so that is what keeps me hanging on and I'm trying to really think about how I could use my channel in a new way and in a way that would work for me because I'm struggling to find content that motivates me. I really want to get into um, making a regular practice of pulling more cards, pulling cards more regularly and not... I, I can't really make or watch any more videos of my top five tarot decks because I just can't. I, my, my top five decks don't change. And so I'm, I'm kind of coming up against a little bit of a wall. And I decided to pull some cards about that. And I pulled them from the Tarot of the Weird, which is a, a gothic Victorian deck and it's a deck I really clicked with. I've had it for years. But I just shuffled and 
thought, okay, what about this um, lack of inspiration? What about this writer's block? What about this spark not sparking? And here's what came up. It is the King of Cups, and normally I hate a keyword, but in this case I had to laugh because the keyword is flow. And that keyword told me that this <laughs> King of Cups is definitely showing up in its reversed aspect. Um, and that means it's probably gonna be more of an extreme or stuck. And stuck is a good word right now. Oh God. Um, the King of Cups. Well, you can see that he is the master of his emotions and his feelings and he is leaning confidently on this huge teapot which is filled with the water <laughs> the the water energy and his his emotions and he just has that reserve this big reservoir that he can use as he pleases as I approach court cards a lot of times I do that elementally and so I'm still going back and forth with myself about whether I think that kings are air and knights are fire or vice versa and so sometimes I will look at the card both ways if the king is fire then this is fire of water and because it's reversed I'm gonna look at the extremes. Too little fire here is not going to boil the tea and nothing is going to get done at all. And too much fire would boil all the water away and then he would have nothing left and he would be in burnout. I think the first, I think either one of those could apply to me because I do feel burnt out, but I think there's, I feel like I have nothing in reserves. I don't feel inspired. Um, I have a lot of ideas written down and then I start spinning. Um, yeah. If I approach this from King as air, then this is air of water. And again, you need a certain amount of air to light that spark to even brew the tea and too much air is going to cause it all to evaporate. And I think I'm too little fire and too much air because I don't have the spark to get the tea brewed and I have a lot of mental energy that is um, cluttering my head. And I start thinking of <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot of self-judgment, there's a lot of comparison, and I start going down this rabbit hole. I've always said that YouTube has brought up a lot of lessons for me, and I think a lot of people have made videos about imposter syndrome and the like, and it's still doing that. I was not thinking that YouTube would still do that after, I think it's been four years now but it still is. <laughs> it's still bringing up some negative feelings and I start getting petty. I pulled a card about those negative feelings and what I got was the devil. And I just keep thinking really hell is other people. Um, not other tarot tubers, but just comparing myself to other people and not uh, holding other people in authority over myself, thinking they must know more than me, they must have it figured out, um, they must know, have some special knowledge about, you know, YouTube videos and algorithms and stuff that I can't figure out and that I don't know. And I feel a little bit like I don't belong, which is a bit of a trigger for me because I have felt that way pretty much forever. That's just, I'm in the woods and there are lots of wild animals. It's something that sounds like Sasquatch, but is probably a squirrel. Um, I think all these details 
that I come up against when I sit down just to simply make a YouTube video. This is the third time that I'm making this video, by the way. And I don't mean today, I mean over several weeks. <laughs> I, it's been three different outfits, three different days, three different backgrounds. <laughs> and that's how stuck I am. I start worrying about, yeah, but that idea is not good enough. Um, maybe someone else already did it and so I can't do it or people think I, I'm copying or people won't like it or people won't want to watch it or whatever, whatever. Um, I've been thinking a lot about my advent calendar that I've done for several years, which I've enjoyed doing because I've enjoyed connecting with the people who participated, but I, it's a lot of work and I don't get a lot of views. And I know, I can say, I'm not doing this for views, I'm doing it for myself, but it's a lot of work. And then things happen where a bigger channel starts doing an advent calendar. You know how that goes. And I feel crowded out. And then the people comment, oh, you're a genius for doing this. And it's like, uh, excuse me, you know, hello. And, um, of course, I didn't invent the advent calendar, okay? I don't know if I'm going to do it. I feel like someone else does it, so I can't do it, and mine's not going to be as good, or whatever. And that's, <laughs> that's the, you know, the little devilish, the little devilish things that, that pop into my head, that I could maybe choose to say, you know, nuts to that, and do what I want, but whatever. I always pick, almost always, pick a card that is my wrap-up card. It's a little message from my guides or from the cards or from, you know, whatever you think is telling you stuff. Wherever the voices in my head come from. <laughs> and I got the Ten of Wands. Again, the key word is burden. I usually don't like keywords, but these are very apropos. Um, and I see that <laughs> I can pick one of these wands and I don't have to pick all of the wands. I've been feeling lately called more and more to start reading more often for other people, more than I do now. And I don't really want it to be a business, certainly not a full-time business. I don't want to read tarot as my, you know, profession, but maybe on the side kind of a thing. And this has been, I've kicked this idea around for quite a while and all, everything that the universe is telling me, every message I get is yes, yes, you should. And so I decided a while back, I'm going to say yes to readings. Whenever I have a request, however it comes to me um, for readings, if a friend asks or someone else asks or I get asked to, I did something over Halloween um, at a store, I'm going to say yes. And um, then I start thinking about how can I let people know I'm doing readings and then I go, well, I have to have a website and I have to get on Instagram every day and I have to do this and I have to do that. And I start becoming attached to the outcome and I feel like I have to take care of all of these um, wands instead of just doing the damn reading. So I'm doing the damn reading, okay? And if you want a reading, hit me up on Instagram. We'll do it that way. Um, so that's, <laughs> that's my Tarot Tube Writer's Block rant slash judgment end of year video. Um, anyway, I miss you guys. <laughs> and I'm trying to get my mojo back. And I'm older now and wiser and, and or just older, but I'm working on the wisdom. So I'm also working on outros. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.